Helen of Tyre by Henry Longfellow. Was phantom Miss Wisbet appears with purple mist of ears, itself but a mist like these. For moon of cloud and of fire, it is she, it is Helen of Tyre, the town in the midst of the seas. Out higher in the crowded streets, a phantom appears and retreats, and we so elites with itself the lilies and lines of brass look up as they see her pass and murmur, she spell. When another phantom is seen at the sight in a grey cup of wine, with beard that floats to his waist, it is Simon Margus, the seer. He speaks, and she pauses to hear the words he utters in haste. He says, With evil fame from his life's sore and shame, I will lift thee and make thee mine. Or has been Queen Cadence and Helen of Troy and shall be the intelligence divine. How oh, sweet is the breath of morn to the fallen and forlorn are whispered words of praise. Her famished heart believes the faults of attempts and deceives a promise that betrays. So she follows from land to land, with its beckoning hand, as the leaf is blown by the gust, till she vanishes into night, a reader stop down and ride the thing in the dust. Or town in the midst of the seas, with her raft of setter trees, the merchandise and their ships, bow to, at becomes not, a phantom, a shadow, a fort, a name upon men's lips.